a movement that I've become increasingly more and more fond of is these um, dip machines. They, uh, they're a multi-purpose tool, all right? I'm gonna show you how to use them for different things. Today, we're gonna be training triceps with them. So the proper tracking that you want to train triceps with these, and this movement is gonna smash the long head. The long head is hard to get at. Most of your pressing movements are not gonna train the long head of the tricep. You need your elbow to track back and become and come behind your torso to really get that, that tricep engaged. Also, tucking the elbows in is gonna incorporate the triceps, all right? If I let my elbows flare out to the side, and I press, that's all chest, okay? And you've seen me use this machine for chest, and when I do, I press in that same way. But if I track my elbows behind me, keep them tight to my body as I can, pressed against my lats, driving through there is all the long head of that tricep. And for those of you who don't know, the long head is the inside. That's what gives your arm girth. Yeah, okay? baby! On the back there, it's very important. Now, I don't see that this machine has a seat belt, which is ideal when you really start uh, getting up in the weight on these things. But I'm gonna go ahead and just try to match my body weight. And I'll go 190 and I'll add 10 pounds, so about 200 pounds. But yeah, this has increasingly become one of my favorite movements for triceps. You guys seen me do the arsenal dip at the muscle. I love it. I really like this machine too. The way it's set up, I mean, you can just smash your back into the pad and you're completely stable. I'm driving through my feet into the floor, pushing my hips back and it just, it's a great basis to push from. So go ahead and get started on it. Track the elbows to the sides. Push and drive. Track them back. There's the mechanical tension. It's starting to slow down. failure i wanted to quit three reps ago and that just goes to show guys when you think you're done you've got more come on man pain is not the deciding factor sensation is not the deciding factor it's when the implement stops moving and yeah my tricep on the inside feels numb so i'm gonna give myself a little break and we're gonna go do a standard push down variation where the elbows stay in line with the torso or sit in front. That's gonna work more so toward the front, but I do believe that that's a, an all-time PR. As they always are, you know? That's how you know the system's working. Really liking this workout so far. I get to put a lot of intention into each one of these sets, uh, and I like it this way that they're, you know, more confined to an area. Training arms today. When I come train back, I'll have three movements instead of the two. And I won't be so fatigued when I'm going to train other things. It's all about finding balance. It's all about uh, finding out what works. I get these ideas and I put them to the test. We analyze the results and see how it goes. But we've had a pretty good success rate so far. Everything that I've decided to implement has uh, yielded me great benefits. You know, the improvements I'm always making. And take a breather and get back to it.